welcome to another incredible infrared video. I just got back from a business trip out east with connection through Houston and uh, I picked a seat on the right side of the aircraft so I can look towards uh, Baja California and uh, I was not disappointed, the views were incredible. Now on this map I'm showing my field of view. I determined my camera when zoomed out um, has about a 70 degree uh, horizontal field of view. And here I kind of drew what I think I'm seeing when I'm zoomed out. And you'll see in the video clip I'll be panning around zooming in on land features. But that's basically uh, the geometry that we're observing. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately there was some cloud cover and I'm still waiting for that perfect day without clouds when I can see you know very 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 far and conclusively too just to dispel any doubts that um, some people might have uh, have a look at this video clips and the perspective it's that flat earth phenomena again folks just incredible have a look here we just crossed the colorado um you can see it snaking out towards the Sea of Cortez in the distance. And I'm zooming out. Now we're flying at about, I imagine, 32,000 feet. My GPS app, unfortunately, did, did not have any signals. The whole flight, it was very strange. It's as if they turned off GPS signals or something. Um, anyway, just from previous flights, I, I kind of estimate that it's around 32,000, 33,000 feet perhaps. Um, so anyway, we're a little bit west of Phoenix and then we'll be uh, getting closer to Phoenix. Now I'm zooming out, look at that, wow. This is great, this is probably 170 miles away or so. When we get further out, then the distance gets even farther. Uh, so that's the Sea of Cortez, the dark area. And, and the distance those mountains that's Baja California and on the other side we can see the marine layer the clouds on the Pacific side this is just incredible folks really is I mean the perspective here is incredible you know at about 200 or so miles if we were on a globe things would start rolling off you know in the distance you should be able to start you know, to see them but you you do see them. Yeah, just incredible, folks. Just like in my other videos. You know, this infrared stuff, man, reveals the flat earth like never before. Now I'm gonna take off the um, lens. And, uh, so this is what it looks like without the filter, the 950 nanometer infrared filter. Now I'm gonna put it back. Okay, so now it's a different clip later in the flight. Uh, There's basically three segments. This is segment two. We're much closer to Phoenix now. And, uh, oh yeah, it's just incredible. Look at that, that sea. As if we're in space, the perspective we're looking down and the earth is as if we're in space or something, but we're not just on an airplane. Yeah, look at that. Now, this was around 11 o'clock or so Pacific time, uh, maybe 12 o'clock between 11 and 12. So we get good contrast. Uh, unfortunately, some of the islands uh, appear quite dark. We can we can tell the islands uh, apart from the water uh, because there are some islands out there. And they're they're farther out to the left. Anyway, look at the mountains in the distance. That's Baja California. Jeez. Just 
just incredible, folks. Those clouds in the distance. Yeah. I think that's the island of Tiburon, which means shark. <laughs> Don't go swimming. Anyway, man, I just wish those clouds weren't weren't there. One of these days. I'm gonna get that perfect, clear day. And it's gonna be incredible. But yeah, see, you look in the distance and you can see the mountains. That's how we can tell which mountains are, I mean, which clouds are in the foreground. Now we're zooming out. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Now, this is another clip. The aircraft is moved on. And now we're probably just south of Phoenix. Between Phoenix uh, and Mesa. Wow, the contrast here, man, just incredible. Look how clear we're seeing the mountains and the coastal clouds on the other side of Baja. We're seeing all those clouds from the Pacific Ocean. When the aircraft took off, there was that marine layer. distance of about 240 miles out. Does that look like a globe, folks, or it curves? Well, we'll look at Google Earth in a second here, but man, that's just incredible. You know, that's probably 300 miles around here, 400 maybe. If you look at that, we can still see the mountains. still visible the mountains are still visible and so is the marine layer on the other side now we kind of seem to be losing it a little bit but it's still there wow this is crazy stuff folks infrared is amazing but more amazing is what it reveals it lets us see in the distance and the farther we see the more the globe falls apart and also the higher we are in the air the bigger the difference between a flat earth and a spherical earth model I mean, wow look at that that's baja california folks and in the foreground the sea of cortez or gulf of california Descending now down to where I think 
the plane was in the last clip and the altitude in the lower right is about 32,800 feet I'm gonna pan around you can see that we're just south of Phoenix and uh, just look at the view it's not the same perspective you know it's just not the same in Google Earth now I'm gonna try to bring in the view a little bit and uh, pan around a little bit in Google Earth there's those islands I was talking about I almost have a feeling that I may be farther east than I think I could be somewhere east of Phoenix maybe crossing into New Mexico yeah so I'm panning around going east a little bit anyway incredible stuff folks here's one last clip folks the airplane has moved even farther we could be into New Mexico now looking back to Baja California and Lucio Cortez. Just have a look at this. Could be 500 miles, maybe 400 miles out to these mountains. Just incredible stuff, folks. Have a look at this stuff. And thanks once again for viewing my video clips, folks. Spread the word. And if you like what you see, please comment and click the like button and uh, I thank all of you and um, stay tuned for more I'm always on travel and um, I don't have much time but I got lots of videos planned for you folks lots of videos I still have to finish the Great Lakes video as well and then I want to release some 4k footage Anyway, thanks again, folks.